Jean Pachescu is the lead developer and maintainer of GIMP made an announcement on Patreon yesterday. GIMP 3.0 is tentatively scheduled for this in May 2024. The plan is to announce this release at the next Libre Graphics meeting conference in France. There's a page that details the roadmap and this is what I want to talk about in this video. Right off the bat, the proposal is to start with a feature freeze in the middle of December. A feature freeze basically means this. Every new line of code that you write has the potential to introduce a new bug or even many bugs. So if you expect to release software that doesn't crash much and doesn't throw too many error messages at users, at some point you have to stop writing new features and focus on fixing bugs. Today is the 22nd of November. The tentative release date is between May 9 and May 12 of next year. That makes nearly 5 months between now and the release and closer to 4 months between the feature freeze and the release. There are three major topics here to unpack. First of all, development of new features has been decelerating over the past few years, with focus shifted towards completing the port of GTK3. But most recently, Smix student resumed his Google Summer of Code project, where he hacked on non-destructive filters attached to layers. The interface you see here is pretty much a slight evolution of the non-destructive embryo that has already been there for many years. The real deal will look nothing like this. It's just that the public branch doesn't yet have the latest work that Smix student demonstrated on Twitter recently. If you take a look at the full proposal on the GIMP developers website, you'll see that it should be possible to stack effects and edit their masks. They really thought about a lot of things, which is great. But it also looks like completing the full proposal is not something you can do in 3 to 4 weeks before the feature freeze. So there is a strong possibility that we will either end up with a basic implementation for 3.0 and then see more in the next updates, or the developers will postpone this patch till version 3.0.2 that is expected to be released soon after 3.0. So the worst case scenario here is that GIMP 3.0 loses that bit of numerology where a release with a fancy number gets a fancy new feature, non-destructive editing. Personally, I'm okay with that idea. We've been waiting for non-destructive editing for freaking 23 years since the beginning of the work on Gecko. Two or three more months, it's not too bad. But judging by the response on Twitter, the first possibility is more likely to happen, which means a basic implementation of non-destructive editing in 3.0. So let's wait and see. The second important topic is API changes. This is something I'm actually more concerned about. Here's why. Historically, this has been the number one reason for long development cycles in GIMP. Jean specifically says, I am not including API features on purpose in the freeze, because I think an additional month for the last little tweaks may be worth it. One of the ongoing changes here is the new API that helps making GIMP more omnivore in terms of code space and color models. So instead of functions like GIMP RGB and GIMP Snake built right inside GIMP, you get an exposure to all the color models available in GIMP and Babel. And that's a lot. Babel supports the entire CIE family of color models – LAP, LCH, YUV, XYZ, XYY, as well as newer things like OKLAP. OK Not to mention SMIC, HSV, HSL and France. Most recently, Gaggle itself got functions for getting and setting SMIC colors. My primary concern here is that getting and setting colors is something that happens in GIMP all the time, even if you don't see it in the user interface. Just searching for GIMP RGB reveals almost 800 instances in the part related to user interface and over 400 instances in the backend code. That is a lot. Which means that attempting to complete this API right in time for the release will keep Jean away from bug fixing. And that is the third important topic here. The situation with bugs in GIMP, and I'm sorry, I just have no other word for this, is getting out of hand. They recently passed the 4K mark, which is like a 30% increase in just over a year. Of those 4K bug reports and feature requests, a whopping 624 bugs are crashers. And that is just crazy. One possibility here is to declare amnesty for all bug reports filed against the current stable series and then reopen the ones that will be reproduced by users in the new release. 
That would be a quite horrible policy of dealing with bug reports, but given the bug report and dynamics and the availability of developers, I just don't see any other way to handle this. It's that or never getting to actually do the release. There are many more things I am still concerned about, like the incorrect scale at which the canvas is rendered on the high DPI displays, or the insane controls in those settings and other things. Look, I'm just being realistic here. Completing this list is going to take a huge toll on the entire team. If you are in a position to help them with stabilizing the program, please consider doing so. Once 3.0 is released, we can have a long conversation about the way the team plans their work, which is not great, and the way they finance it, which is arguably even worse. But right now the community needs to finish off this SOB of release. Thanks for watching and see you soon.